Uh, Val Ferraro with the Great Gray is going to be joining us for our next session, but go ahead and start dusting off those sentence diagramming skills. Um, and at this point, go ahead and take hold of your microphone real quick and notice the big number on it. There's a small number and a large number. Go ahead, take your microphone and look because that's going to come into play. We're going to be calling on tables by number on the microphone. So don't be that. Nope, we're not twisting. We're yanking with authority, Andrew. Um, the big number is what we're going to be calling. So be ready that when your microphone number is called, somebody grab that microphone and be ready to chat. No shyness. We need efficiency of time. And so with that, Val, you have a very creative idea that we're going to go through for the next few minutes. Go ahead. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> How many of you know Aaron Hassinger with PIMCO? Come on, I know my Michigan, Ohio, Pittsburgh people know him. Well, he's one of my favorites in the industry. And if you know him, you know he loves driving in his Tesla. And he loves playing that fart sound if you get in the passenger seat. <laughs> Well, recently, Aaron suggested that I listen to the Audible biography on Elon Musk. And it's pretty incredible, his story. I've been diligently taking notes on quotes that Elon has said. And I want to share one quote with you today that will resonate with all of us here in this audience. And that quote is, don't make niche products. Remake entire industries. And that is exactly what RPAG has done. So thank you for being an RPG member. Thank you for being loyal and curious to everything that RPG has to offer. So with that being said, I would almost argue that Great Gray Trust Company sits in that same basket. So who is Great Gray? We are an innovator. We've created Boarding Pass, the online portal for submitting CIT requests. We did a partnership with the NASDAQ to create tickers for the CITs. So now plan sponsors and participants can Google a ticker and see price and performance. <laughs> we truly do help enhance plan sponsor and participants' experience with delivering CITs for no minimums to any plan size. So with all of that being said, we are going to have you in the audience help me write the perfect CIT pitch by playing Mad Libs. So I, English was definitely not my best subject, math was. So we're going to just have a cheat sheet up here on the screen for you. So there's 18 words that I'm looking to gather from the audience. And this is what Jeff said to take note to that microphone. So I'm going to call on each table. And I'd like for you to tell me either, of course, adverb, verb, or adjective. So let's start with microphone number seven. Who's microphone number seven? OK, this is where it is. Y'all got to know what your numbers are. Who's number seven? Maybe over here. We're here. City, please. Dubuque. Wow. You want me to spell that word? <laughs> uh, eight. Person in the room. Microphone number eight, I'm assuming is this one. Thank you, Alex. Sorry. Next mic, adjective. Andrew? You didn't give us the number. Nine. Oh, nine. Sparkling. Thank you. That was really loud. So we're, we're noticing a pattern here. So let's 10, 11, and 12 get your mics ready to go. It's actually a gerund. It's a number. Adverb. <laughs> Jeff, do you want to say the numbers? Maybe that'll help. 11. Eat along. <laughs> Uh, what is it? Run. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you ever come up with that? Number 10. Restaurant chain, restaurant, please. Restaurant chain, number 10. Shake Shack. Nice. Number 12. It was tempting. It's downstairs. Grab that mic. There Active. you go. Active. Quickly. That's an adverb, man. Didn't you ask for an adjective? Oh, she did. Slow. <laughs> <laughs> Was that 13? I, I just lost my train of thought. Uh, let's go 14. A number, please. 71. Very nice. Next up, activity ending in ING. 
13, number 13. Selling. Wow. Selling, okay. I like that one. Next 15. Up. All right, the next up is same person in the room. So Jesse Taylor, are you being used again? 16. Another number, please. 21. Thank you. 17. Adjective. Adjective number 17. Happy. <laughs> Such a creative group. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Next was, up. Was that 17? 18. Thank you. Adverb. Swiftly. 18. Verb. Microphone 18. That was 18? 19. Verb. 20, get ready. Singing. 20. 21's on deck. Activity ending in ED. Camped. I'm Next sorry, the up. mic was just in my ear and I lost what number we're on. 21. 21. A number, please. Your birthday, Val, 27. Oh, extra points. Next up. 22. A body part. Arm. Safe choice. <laughs> what did he say? What was arm, the body part? Arm. Oh, an arm. 23? Yes. Lisa. Uh, what's the question? No, you're supposed to know the answer without the question. That's your job. <laughs> Next up is a room in the house. Kitchen. And I don't believe there's a 24, so we're going to go 12. Microphone number 12. Positive adjective. Positive adjective. Smart. Very good. Two more, guys. There. 16. Microphone 16. A food item. A Chicago dog. <laughs> All right. And the last one. And the one, last one, a positive adverb. We're going to go microphone Pat Geary. <laughs> Yeah, you do. What are we looking for, Val? Positive adverb. Oh, you're Mr. Positivity. What kind of positive adverb Beautifully. Beautifully. Love Describing it. Val, as, of course. Aww. Oh, that's nice, Pat. Thank you. Okay, so, are we ready to hear the pitch you guys just created? Yes. Let me just do a spot check to make sure we got this accurate here. All right, so you guys just helped us write the CIT pitch. You ready? There once was an advisor from Dubuque named Jesse Taylor who thought CITs had high minimums, no transparency, and were not available on any record-keeping platforms. And then the sparkly assumption was that they are not governed. Then one day, he happily lost the 401k run to a Shake Shack competitor because another advisor presented the idea of CITs to the plan sponsor. That plan sponsor saw slow benefits from implementing CITs, mainly helping participants save 71 benefits throughout using and accumulating throughout the phase for retirement. One might think selling lost the plan because they weren't an RPAG member. But that is obviously not the case. Jesse Taylor received a call from Great Gray to be educated on the 21 benefits of CITs. He soon swiftly learned that CITs have good governance, they have tickers, no minimums, and he can sing them through any record-keeping platform. He was camped that he was so excited. 
He soon learned that he could save $27 million by using CITs, and he was kicking himself in the arm for not using CITs before. <laughs> Jesse Taylor now came up with a marketing plan. Surprise, surprise, that fit perfectly there. To help his or her book a business, retirement plan business by implementing CITs while educating plan sponsors from the comfort of his kitchen. He loves that he could choose from over 600 CIT options on more than 30 dedicated fee classes and can consider Great Gray a smart partner for all of his asset class needs. And the Chicago dog on the cake is that all the CITs can beautifully be implemented on one participation agreement through the online portal called Boarding Pass. Thank you for helping me write the CIT pitch. <laughs>